slum. I'm still walking. This is part two. I probably walked maybe 20 steps. And this is another um, two police cars in front of, I don't know where they're in front of, but um, let me move out the way I'm in front of, I'm in the uh, road. And I'm still on my path to work. So two police cars. A lot of times, um, Islam, a Moorish American nation and family. This is part two on August 19, 2021. A lot of times um, I noticed the, um, civilians, I guess you would say, in Annapolis, they say your son. Like they'll look towards my way and say your son. Okay? I mean, this is, uh, so it's like uh, collectively, not all, not all will um, do such things, but um, too many would say your son. Now, Imani Gray Bay and I, Rhonda Arrington Bay, is Moors, Moorish Americans. We don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, and nor have we implied that we want to get to know anyone personally here in Annapolis. So, um, why would anyone look at us? We've been here since uh, 2016. So, why would anyone look at us and say your son? as though they have some some uh, form of personal affiliation with us unless they um what i think what's going on because sometimes oddly um i hear around american students say they say moves okay i am what i think what's going on is um there's some um, criminal activity that's going on in annapolis that those that are unnaturalized, whether it's the military that's unnaturalized or the police that's unnaturalized, don't want to don't want to be un, um, I guess definitely not put on the internet, okay, or be known in such a matter. And when you're dealing with natural laws, not all, but we are. We affirm to uphold laws. We are we are we affirm to be lawful. So I think what's going on is if you, if that which is unlawful and unnatural are doing things that are illegal, like drug dealing, drug selling, sex trafficking, money laundering, and they can tell you are not a part of that, they create a false reality. Of what's they'll um, a, a false reality of why they behave in a such manner to hide what's truly the issue and what they're really afraid of, and not only that, but being among um, unclean because it extremely unclean, unnatural spirits. I call them humanoid robots because too many times. Technologically, my device will act up, and at American Center Day, someone says words like "we pay," "I love you," "brother." Um, it could be Spanish-speaking accents or Spanish accents, excuse me, or um, African American Black Negro accents. Um, definitely pale skin too, but those are the predominantly ones uh, saying "brother" a lot, like they're trying to um, force. The word or energy in our room so um, once again when you are involved in illegal unlawful activity okay whether it's sex trafficking okay because um, if you are mentally raping because you have a, the telepathic code and um, children or preparing them for that form of lifestyle kids um and you are selling them to adults which that goes on a lot with these extraordinary kids that have the telepathic code whether um they're from mexico um south america um or some other form of immigrants and they try and they don't have um, much money so a lot of the sex trafficking happens in that community or black or Negro African American community. So, if you're trying to normalize um, this lifestyle, 
these criminal activities and you see you have um, someone who is not a part who is lawful then that could be an issue especially when you've been doing it and if you are in the military a part of the police force and unnaturalized so that means you that means it's not just civilians you have people who are trained to supposedly uphold law but they are not doing it so this this that's the issue islam um, today i found it odd because um as i was um working today um one of the black males that come in with the navy emblem came into burger king and uh, he's a regular he um he usually wear navy or emblem on his shirt and um he comes in he's i've been seeing him come in for years now because i've been there working at burger king since june of 2016. and all of a sudden uh, phyllis became irritated and said i was talking too loud <laughs> she couldn't hear and so many times you know the customer cannot hear me i can't hear the customer but i knew i wasn't she said i was yelling and she you know and it looked like he um i'm not could be wrong but it looked like he um looked her way the most i don't know it just seemed it seemed sort of like out of the blue so i you know i waited on him and i just um just i told her i didn't say nothing i just lowered my voice and then she told me not to call her name she didn't say why I didn't I she didn't say I did anything wrong besides not talking about she told me not to call her name so I said okay this is a black male regular that has a navy emblem on his um, uniform when he comes in a Burger King then another black male uh, then an, um, a, a look like Spanish speaking male um, he comes in Burger King he's been coming to Burger King for a little while he also came into Burger King and after um, he was waiting to get his order, um, I took his order and I was um, working on someone else's um, order by taking their order and um, Phyllis spoke of um, me um, speaking loud again and he definitely is a um, Hispanic male. And I, um, I'm not, and once again, I'm not accusing the black male that um, have the Navy emblem, because I just find it odd, okay? Because once again, um, this has happened um, times before when those that um, represent or imply to represent the United States Navy or Army come into Burger King. So um, all of a sudden, Phyllis or um, will act odd and starts acting very irritated and, and sometimes just really being really um, um disrespectful or just you know just really and you'll call me out my name just really just out of the blue like she's just i mean like today she said don't um, call her name when i'm trying to communicate with her as a team player as a team member um so um and i think i remember and so the the hispanic i thought he said something about money and i'm pretty sure that's what i heard but what um but because, and I'm a customer service, so I looked at him. I said, "Sir, did you say something about you? You paid some money?" Because that's exactly what he said. He said something. Yeah, I paid my money. And I, he said, "No, he didn't say that." I said, "Okay." As soon as after that, a black male had, that had just left came in asking about where is his wallet. He said he lost his wallet. As soon as um, once again, I could have sworn I thought I heard the Hispanic male say something about money. He paid his money. And then. Um, he said, but the Hispanic, I'm not accusing him. He said he didn't say that. I said, okay. And it's maybe a few, not, maybe not even five minutes, not even, I say maybe two minutes. A black male who I, whom I just um, waited on and served him came back in and said, asked where, where is his wallet? The wallet like you would keep money in. He said he um, forgot his wallet. So, um, so this was at Burger King, and um, then I noticed a pale skin was sitting on the side of the corner waiting for her food. She was saying something about racist or um, 
uh, something racist. And I think, I, and it's not gonna hurt Phyllis. I could be wrong, but because she says a lot of things odd, like don't don't say my name. And I've heard her say things like this before, brother, saying the word brother. I don't know who she's talking to or um, paid and stuff like that. So uh, she's had she has a headset on. So I don't know who she's who who is she talking to. But um, I could I, it sound like maybe she said something about a racist too. So um. Anyway, I just found it odd. Hold on. I'm walking across the street now. And um, so, um, once again, um, yesterday as I was walking, this is part two of seeing the police officers. Okay, whoops. Yesterday as I was walking, um, I saw police officers on my path to work as well. And uh, right on my path, and then, um, then today, um, I see police officers. Yesterday was 8, 8, 18, 20, 21. A police officer actually knocked on my door maybe three weeks ago, or four weeks, not, yeah, about two and a half weeks ago. And she, he said, someone called from New York. It was after, it was after I posted uh, tweeted about black males and um, the harassment I have experienced from some black males in Annapolis. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I spoke about how um, I've noticed black males and females in Annapolis say brother and how they pay. And like today, um, when a Hispanic, I could have sworn he said, yeah, I paid my money, but he said he didn't say that. And I said, okay, because I'm not gonna, if he, I, I didn't know what, if he needed help I'm paying his money for food but as soon as after he said that a black the black male came back in who I just served saying he lost his wallet or he couldn't find his wallet so um so and once again I like I demonstrate this because it's important because at American Senate stay when you have um people or civilians who think they could pay for somebody and they actually, on their mind is not mentally stable, okay? They're not mentally stable. They behave irrational. They, are, they behave in a thought process that could be considered as animals, um, literally animals, okay? You have to, um, if they think, or if you allow this energy to circulate, well, they think they paid for you, they uh, th then or they paid for anything, then that's when you have those. Then they become bold and more bolder and more bolder and trying to cause harm because they're they they you know after a while when you tell yourself a lie constantly, okay, you start to believe it. Islam. So um. So you you can have someone. Who can barely pay their rent or for instance if an unnaturalized military force who promotes bondage instead of freedom okay so say because um, you know they probably have different technologies on uh, humanoid robots these are technologies that are supposed to help protect true American citizens on this landmass but instead um, they choose to use them to demonstrate and promote bondage or slavery on this landmass and then say American, we American. Or you have um, those that are black, Negro, or African American, um, one moment marching saying, we shall overcome, uh, we need justice, treat us equality, but on reality, some of them are saying, are saying we paid and they're promoting rape, molestation, and all criminal acts. Then that, that's, that is an issue. That's, so that's when you know that um, you are dealing with two different realities. And um, one is a false reality and one is true reality. One is a false reality and one is true reality. So I'm at Whole Foods, okay? And um, I'm gonna end, that, end this with that. So that's what I experienced today. 
I thought it was odd. Uh, once again, to see the police officers today and yesterday. And also, I thought it was odd um, to um, experience such things as um, um, the feeling saying, um, I'm too loud. And I'm like, okay. And so it'd be irritated and tell me not to don't call her name. And she don't say why. She didn't say, I don't know why. She doesn't say anything. Um, but when the police officer came, you know, I gave him a description on how you can be racist or if that's what you want to call it. You don't have to love anybody. But when you act upon what you feel in your beliefs in religion that harms another that's against constitutional law, that's the problem. So I can say right now, I would never befriend an African American Negro, male or female. I have the right to say that. That's my amendment rights to say that. That is correlation to Amendment 2 of the Constitution and the 13th Amendment with 20 section, Section 2. I have, I mean, Section 1, excuse me, uh, Amendment 1, excuse me. Amendment 2 is dealing with guns. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm wrong. Amendment 1 is dealing with guns, buying, buying guns, so to um, protect yourself, bearing arms. So I have the right, according to Amendment 1 and 13th Amendment with, is 13th Amendment with 20 sections, Section 1, to say if I don't want to have nothing to do on a personal level with a black, Negro, African American, Spanish, or Hispanic as a Moorish American. That is my right. But it's not I, in, in the laws of right or in constitutional laws, I do not have the right to act out in a violent way towards someone I don't like or I would never have nothing to do with. And that goes with those that speak Spanish, Hispanic, pale skin. That is, that's my right. So that's the issue. When you are violating someone's rights and boundaries because you are outside of constitutional law and then you say I paid.